What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing, coming back at you with another video. And today, success has its drawbacks and I have a ton of coral warfare. Now you've seen, I fragged a ton of corals and put it in my frag tank, but I still have corals that are kind of like stinging each other, overgrowing each other, so I need a solution. And that solution involves this syringe. So what do you think I'm gonna be putting in this syringe? Calcwasser, that is right. I'm going to be making a calc paste and I'm going to be sucking up with the syringe and putting it on top of some of the coral. Now, some of the coral that I have is starting to grow over like my nicer corals, like the Garf Bonsai. I know that there are inherent risks with using calcwasser, especially calc paste in the reef tank. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful because I don't wanna burn the crap out of all my expensive corals. What I have found with calc paste in the past is that if I put it on really thick and don't have any flow for a while, it'll be just fine and kind of stick to the rock. But if I put it on a little light or don't make the paste thick enough, it's definitely going to make things, you know, kind of take off in the current and burn all the tips of the corals. So this is a little bit of a mm, intermediate type skill. So let's see how successful I am with this. Also, do you like my shirt? My wife made it for me. I really need to get like a cool logo. So if anyone has an idea for a logo, comment below, let me know. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. All right, so if memory serves me correct, I either do this in a one to one ratio or a two to one ratio. So that means one part calc washer to, you know, one part water or one part calc washer to two parts water. I'm gonna go the one to two parts first. So one part calc washer to two parts uh, water that way it's a little bit uh, thinner because I think it's going to be kind of clogged up if I do it super thick. Let's try it. If you got a mask, throw it on because it might make a little poof. All right, so I just took my mask off, but I did 10 milliliters of calc washer to um, 20 milliliters of water or aquarium water, and it looks pretty good. That's about the consistency that I want where it's thick, but I can still suction it up. All right, time to use this once the lights kick on. It's always important to go in with a game plan. Now, all these corals right here, I am not a fan of, and see how it's kind of encroaching on my Garf Bonsai. I'm going to calc paste all this section right here, move over and hopefully do something with this coral there. And there's some warfare going on. Probably just rip all that out and save these three corals in the back, the Shades of Fall, this teal tort it looks like, and that Garf Bonsai in the back. So that'll clean up that section. I need to get that frag of the <laughs> neon green toadstool. This stylo is huge. I'm probably gonna cut it up and get it out after I'm done with this. I'm gonna move over to this section, paste all that up, and right there in front of, move that striped blenny. Jeez, seriously, all right and hit that piece right there that's in front of the strawberry shortcake. I might pop that guy off right there and move him to where that location is. Paste all over this coral and you can see one of my acros fell off so now I gotta figure out where the heck it went and then I'll glue that back on. But that is my plan so let's get into it and do the easy stuff first. All right, I mounted the coral back and added a little neon green toadstool to the frag tank. And you can see I've really heavily coated all that coral right there. Now there's one problem. If you do have corals that are below, like let's say that piece where I put coral, like uh, the paste on the coral, it's slowly falling down. Luckily I don't have any corals there, but this will sting and burn the crap out of any other corals you have. Luckily, the only thing it's hit is this Cali Torrid, and it's only one little piece of it, so I'm not too worried. I was very careful and didn't hit any of the Walt Disney. It literally looks like it has snowed in this tank. If you have more corals than this, and they're closer together, I would probably suggest not doing the calc paste. I think doing, you know, like a putty and covering over might be safer. This is definitely more of a risky thing to do, and you definitely wanna have, um, 
like your pumps off for an extended period of time. So I have my pumps off for about 20 minutes before they're gonna kick on. I'm gonna kick them on only one at a time. That way I'm not gonna blow up all this calc paste. Now one of the most important things is that you let it sit. You can kind of see how I outlined different parts of the coral. So my money cap is trying to impede on some of the real estate here. So I kind of just outlined it, um, making sure I got as close as I could without going over into the coral that I want to save. And this part right here is just a white mess of crap. So we'll see what happens with this piece over here. I really am trying to save the Garf Bonsai, but you can see most of the base was already encrusted. So I went all the way up until I got to the Garf Bonsai, but man, that Garf Bonsai was getting destroyed by the other coral. The pumps, I'm gonna set it to another 20 minutes. So the pumps are gonna be off for about 40 minutes. That way this is nice and solidified because one of my biggest fears is that when you kick it on, yes, some of the, you know, um, calc wasser paste will break off and it will go um, waterborne and probably touch some other things. But if you let it sit for a bit, it's going to definitely be harder to come off. You can kind of see a fish just went over there and a little bit of the dust is coming off. And yes, if you are asking, it will bump up your calcium and alkalinity just a little bit, depending on the size of the tank and how much you're using. I mean, for me, I used 10 milliliters of calc wasser, so not a ton, um, but you never know. It could bump it up just enough. And I could stress a couple things out. So I'm gonna be diligent in watching this and monitoring it. All right, so I kicked the return pump on and you can see some of it is floating around, but most of it's not from the return pump. It's from when I also kicked on these octo pulses and it just started raining all that stuff off. It started picking it all off this one. So most of this side has been kind of sheared off, but the rest of it has been left on pretty thick and it's doing a good job. It hasn't really touched the Walt Disney or anything like that. So let's give it 15 minutes and I'll kick these pumps on again. Let's hope I don't have like a, a snowfall of calc wasser in this tank. That would just be bad for my reef. And as you can guess, that just spiked my pH by almost 0.2 with all that calc wasser going and when the pumps kicked on. So I kicked it off. You can't even see. It's already jumped up to 8.2 and it isn't even registering it because it jumped up that fast. All right, all the pumps are on, even the jar, and you can kind of see it's slowly peeling this off and making its way around the tank. So let's hope and pray. Oh, some of those big pieces are coming off. Let's hope and pray I did this right. Actually, what I might do is just turn the pumps down a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Because I have this pump shooting right over top of these guys here. And it might be a little too strong for the calc wasser paste. All right, well, I'll be back in about an hour letting you know how this goes. All right, so about six to seven hours later after doing my calc paste and everything is looking good. Well, everything's looking dead right here, but everything around it is looking pretty solid. I mean, you can't even see where the coral was over here. And this is where I was really worried about it. And it doesn't look like it got on any of the Walt Disney. And it didn't spill any of it down onto any of the co corals. Just a little burnt tip on the um, Cali Tor, but that's it. Now I know I said I was going to take out that giant coral, that Stylo. Oh, man, like it's already fighting with the green Slimer. Ugh. Oh man, I don't want to do that right now. I've been patiently waiting to see if anything bad would happen and nothing has happened um, with any of the calc paste. I mean, it did spike my pH up to 8.25, but I mean, that's right when the lights were coming on and it usually swings from eight to 8.14 during the day and it got up to 8.25 right away. So I mean, a little bit of a spike, but nothing crazy. The problem is if I get that stylo, I have no place to put it in this tank and my friends, Mike and Wayne, don't have any room for it. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might call the fish store and be like, yo, Andrew, I got Clarksville Reef and Reptile. Can you cut me a deal on this or what? Cause it's huge. But overall, I'd say I was pretty successful in everything I've done. So I think I'm gonna leave it here and kind of relax tonight. I don't feel like doing anything else with the tank cause I definitely need to do my water change 
and get these guys over into the main display um, sometime this weekend. All right guys, so that's my video on how I use calc paste in order to, you know, prevent any corals from spreading, coral warfare, any of that stuff. So if I were you and I had tons of corals everywhere, I probably wouldn't use calc paste. I would probably use some putty and just epoxy over it. But if you do have some space where you're like, I can definitely get away with it. You have more um, like of a spread out tank or you, if you weren't worried with some of the water blowing the paste over everywhere, I think it would be good to use some of the paste in different applications. I've used it for clove pops and it worked out really well for me. And so far it's worked out really well this time. You can kind of see that has fallen down to there. So you have to watch out for any you know, overhangs where the paste kind of just slowly drips down because it will eat your coral and algae and you can kind of see there is no calc wasser here. Uh, right there, see that? That is not calc paste. That is just where the calc paste dripped onto and ate away at the coral and algae. So it is kind of, you know, caustic to your coral so you got to be careful. And that's it for this video this time, guys. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to comment below and let me know how you like the video, and I will see you next time.